island, I will need to take on some of the most terrifying creatures I have ever faced. I will need to get my hands on some of the highest tier loot, as well as construct a giant base with cameras to stay protected from the island's horrors. And for my final goal, I will need to defeat the Realm Guardians in hopes to free this island from its horrific curse. Will I uncover all of the island's secrets? My name's the Coffee Fuel Genius. Let's find out. <laughs> After being lost at sea for quite some time, it was great to finally reach land. But then I heard screeches coming from the forest. I was pretty terrified, so I quickly grabbed as much wood as possible so that I could craft the basic tools I would need in preparation for this haunted journey. I then did a little bit of exploring and saw something in the distance on the beach. So I ran over to take a look. It was a severed head and a book sunken within the sand. So I picked up the book, opened it up, and it read, Newcomer, it ain't one bit safe on the shores of this island. You gotta move fast. Go north. There's a small mill not too far from here. Y'all can meet me in that barn. We'll talk then. And with haste, friend, your new island tour guide. <laughs> Buck. And so there it was, my first mission, find Buck on this haunted island. I wanted to get off these shores as soon as possible because I was being stalked. These crawling creatures were incredibly fast and did a ton of damage. I had no choice but to sprint away as fast as possible, but he was closing in. I didn't know what to do. I had one choice, create elevation between me and the beast. The creature was clearly frustrated and let out a terrifying screech. I was absolutely terrified and thought I could maybe get away. I was just encumbered by creatures surrounding me. Oh no, just two hearts left. I had no choice but to head underground. It was the only place I would be safe. The creatures above me let out a blood curdling roar. The ground beneath me shook as this creature roared in frustration. I thought I'd take some time to grab some stone so I could upgrade my tools. With all of the tools crafted, I grabbed some more stone and made a furnace. And then I headed out to try and get some food, because with just two hearts, I wouldn't stand a chance. As I resurfaced, the creature reappeared! I managed to get away, but then I was met with a bunch of zombies. And with just one heart left, I would need food desperately, which is going to be impossible on this haunted up. Hold up. Is that a pig? Oh my god, that's a pig. I need to get that food as quick as possible. But there were just too many zombies around. I would have to go around the tree, take a leap... Okay, great, we have pork. I continued sprinting with just one heart, grabbing as much food on the way. But then I was surrounded by a bunch of zombies. I had no choice but to head back underground. It was the only safe place. Oh, I took a breather and cooked up all of my food to regain my strength and health. I was determined to find Buck at that barn. We couldn't stop here, so I waited for my health to regain and then headed back up top. I noticed in the distance a small structure, but it was just too dangerous to investigate because I was ambushed by a bunch of zombies. Equipped with just a stone sword, I spent the entire night battling the undead. One by one, I slayed these ravenous, flesh-eating beasts. I was feeling pretty unstoppable, determined to complete my mission and find Buck. Surrounded by horrific weather conditions and zombies left, right and center, I decided it was best to wait until morning to investigate the structure. The sun blazed high in the sky the next day, but I was still on edge as I headed into this small structure. There was nothing inside but a chest, but when I opened it up, there was a stone spear. Now, it wasn't the best, but it would allow me to take our enemies at a distance. It was now time to continue my search for Buck. I headed north, coming across the undead and grabbing resources every step of the way. I took a moment to find the beauty in this haunted island, but then a deep voice bellowed from the skies. <laughs> Rise, my children. This voice I summoned groups of the undead, and they were relentless. I had no choice but to sprint away and start scaling a mountain. I thought the only safe place would be up, but as I scaled higher and higher, I was met with the undead. This could be it. He could knock me off and I could lose my life. But the spear came in handy, allowing me to create distance. Oh. Adrenaline pumping, I headed into the mountain and mined deeper and deeper until I eventually came across a cave. I was surrounded by ores and also this mist deep within. I made a quick descent. Once I'd reached the bottom, I finally came across a bunch of coal so I could make torches and see dangers coming. Well, except this one, okay? Give me a break. I took out the zombie, mined up all of the coal and continued my search for a way out, grabbing as many resources as I could on my way. I managed to find where the water was coming from and swam up to the surface. 
I made myself a small camp and then started mining coal as my iron was smelting. But then I heard a strange noise erupting from the cave nearby. The Undertaker. This hunched beast was coming towards me. Oh no, I have no choice but to jump across the water. I had to think on my feet. I decided to scale up the mountain, make a jump, and then try and mine up my resources. I was not losing anything now. He was slow, but I could tell he was going to do a ton of damage. He was closing in. I had no choice but to run out the other end, across the pond. But then he summoned groups of the undead. These things were terrifying. I had nowhere left to turn. I'd have to jump. Oh no. I leapt into the freezing cold water, falling deep. I then swam to the surface. At least I was safe from those ghouls up top. I made my way back into the caves. I couldn't quit now. I was determined to try and find Buck. If I can make it to the barn alive, it's gonna be a miracle on this terrifying, haunted island. The end of the world was just a little bit terrifying for me, so I headed back into the caves and made a full set of iron armor. This way I would be a lot more protected from the devilish beasts that lie on this island. I then made an iron pickaxe and continued mining, all whilst being watched every single step of the way. Wait, 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 I think this guy's stuck. <laughs> Loser. I continued throughout the caves, mining resources, but then I came across these small little cave troll things. Look at them, they're holding like really decent loot, but when I get close, they disappear. It's like they're too shy to talk. Like, I'm the good guy on this island. I was pretty tired of caving at this point, so I decided to chip away at stone and find a way out. I resurfaced near this sort of deadwood forest. It was now time to head north and find Buck. The next few days consisted of pretty much being jump scared by these evil little critters, constantly on the hunt for food, and finding loot that was pretty much pointless. But then hope was in. I found a giant forest I knew on the other side would be Buck, but I'd have to make it first. And well, I was surrounded by hordes of the undead. I'm talking a ton, and with barely any hunger, I couldn't run. There was no way I could survive this. I, I literally had nowhere else to run, so I climbed up, but then spiders crawled up and knocked me off. Oh, with just three hearts left, I didn't know where to go, so I headed back underground, but then the world was growing stronger. I couldn't stay here. I made a shield, headed back up top. I had to find Buck. I was determined to do so, so it was time to sprint away. I managed to survive the night, and the next day, guess what we found? The barn! I couldn't believe it. We had finally made it but it wasn't going to be an easy fight. This place was surrounded. I headed in with my iron sword, taking out the unburied, but then I was being stalked by this wendigo-like creature. There wasn't a moment I felt safe, but it crawled into the trees, so I headed in. I would have to think tactically about my next moves, because in groups, the unburied can take me out with ease. I would have to use my sword and shield in combination to take on these glowing-eyed beasts. Every step of the way, I was being stalked by these creepy, crawly creatures. I had to face these enemies head on. I decided to go all in, striking them down. And with enough perseverance, I cleared the area of the unburied. But these things were still watching me. I decided to see what was inside. And there were a ton of them inside. Oh no! Oh, oh it's just an unburied. One left. I regained my strength with food, but still no sign of Buck. So I headed into this barn house, up into the roof, to see if I could find him. But all I found was a bed and haystacks. But then I did find a note, and inside it read, Hey partner, it's Buck. As you can see, things got pretty hectic here, and it was just too dangerous to stay. Y'all gonna have to set up base. The beasts that control this island, they're coming after you. I'll be in contact soon. Your island tour guide, Buck. So after all that, Buck wasn't here, but he did inform me I'd have to set up base. So I grabbed some haystacks for food, stole the bed, and headed out. Some weird behavior from these creatures. They scaled the windmill, watching every move. I was on edge the entire time, but they didn't seem to be bothering me. They wouldn't come close, so I took advantage, went out resource collecting. It was now time to start working on building a giant base. The next few days consisted of battling zombies, terraforming, hiding from the horrors in the sky, and heading underground to collect a bunch of resources. After spending a ton of time collecting stuff, I put down the things I would need to, yep, you guessed it, build a base.
With the base built, I then crafted a bunch of cameras and made a monitor so then I could view the horrors all from inside my base. These things were amazing. They would allow me to monitor all the dangers around, including the spiray. These things can summon soul-eating ghosts and alert zombies of my presence, so I need to stay clear of them. I then got to work building more things in my base. More structures means more hiding places. I then joined everything up with paths to stop things from spawning. I then made a radio in hopes to connect with Buck. Yo, coffee, if y'all can hear this, it's Buck. I'm caught out in a snow blizzard and undead about to pass through the doors and eat my brains. Look for Snowboy. Come and save me. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Buck's life was in danger and he would need me. I would need to be prepared with more food, tools and weaponry, so I was going to go on a strip mining trip. But before that, I checked the camera monitor for nearby enemies and noticed a ton of spy rays. Enemies were coming. So, I decided to head underground. Yep, if you're a fan of the channel, you know how much I love my- Whoa, 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 what is that? That is a flying skull and I'm on fire. I'm lit I'm gonna lose my life. This is it. This is where I die. After everything we've been through. Look at them. I'm on fire. I'm literally losing hearts. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it was a great video. These things won't leave me alone, and I'm probably going to die. Nope, I'm determined to win. I must save Buck. I fought the skull. Wait, 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 wait. one and a half hearts. What? Half a heart? Oh. oh, okay. Just enough chicken and just enough time. Holy smokes. And relax. I continued my strip mining trip and finally found diamonds. Oh, look at it. I love the way they glow. Oh, gimme, 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 gimme. How can you not like diamonds? Like, netherite is so boring to look at, but diamonds, they twinkle, they're blue, they're literally the best. Once I'd finished mining a bunch of diamonds for a few days, I headed back up top and then crafted a full set of diamond armor. I also made a diamond katana and also a diamond throwing axe, in which I killed a bit of time and did a bit of target practice. Which, I have to say so myself, I'm pretty accurate. I was just about to head out and save Buck, but then I was ambushed by Banshees! These things are absolutely terrifying. They hold you in one spot and strike you and strike you. I only had one and a half heart left. I managed to get inside my base and take out the Banshee. It dropped its spirit of some sort, which I could see I could make weapons from. I spent the next few days traveling the island. One of the days I came across this structure, a haunted church-looking building. I headed in anyways in hopes to find some good loot, but when I made it down, I found a sort of glowing altar and round stones. But then something skin-crawling occurred. These flesh-eating insects were all over my body, and they began to block my vision. I thought I may lose my life. They were poisoning me. I had to strike and strike to get them off my face. With enough perseverance, I removed all of the insects. Man, I wish I had some bug spray on this island. I then approached the altar, and it started talking. You think you can just come here and defeat us? We are the Realm Guardians. We control this island. We own the haunted horrors. <laughs> so you, newcomer, you think you can survive? The voice summons the first guardian, regained strength with food, and headed back down to fight him. Strike after strike, I chipped away at this guardian's health. The beast, clearly frustrated, was charging at me, but I used my shield and sword to finally take him down. It dropped a chest piece part of a set which offers amazing protection. I'll be back for you. That's enough of that. Your voice is very annoying. The first guardian down. If I can kill them all, I can free this island. I headed out and found a shattered ice piece. I remember Buck saying if I can find snow, I can find him. And so I continued my search for Buck. I trudged through thick snow day in, day out, fighting enemies. These arctic infected ghouls were pretty deadly in crowds. I searched this small hut and found a frost sword, perfect for taking these guys on. What? What? With every slice, frost erupted from their undead bodies. I continued taking out ghouls and searching structures in the arctic. I was finding gear, but no buck. I came across this giant dungeon. Maybe he's in here, but then I was overwhelmed by these flying ghoul-like creatures. There were a ton of them. I sprinted away and managed to lose them and come back. I looted the chests and there was some insane loot, a bunch of golden apples. I headed down. I navigated the maze-like corridors, collecting loot on the way and facing new enemies. But then I got extremely overwhelmed. Sludge monsters, these green beasts, there was like a ton of random mobs I'd never seen before. I blocked them in, mined up the mob spawners for XP and just trudged through them. Wave after wave, I fought these ghoulish monsters, but still no sign of Buck. I decided to put the search for Buck on hold. I ran away and decided 
decided it's time to hunt down the Realm Guardians. Yep, if I can kill all of the Realm Guardians, I can obtain a full set of Exo Armor, making it easier to find Buck. When I made it back home and got into bed, the cameras picked up Herobrine. I was terrified. I couldn't move. What is happening? No, I was being kidnapped. Wait, where am I? Forced into the nether with no way of escaping, I took on the enemies that faced me. I was constantly attacked by devilish ghouls. After some traveling, I stumbled across another shrine. So newcomer, we meet again. <laughs> another round guardian. This one was fast. He had long flailing arms that did a ton of damage. He flipped and hit me and then started spinning. The flames that erupted from his arms were scorching, but I was determined to take on this guardian. I took a ton of damage when the beast flipped, so I had to create some distance and eat a golden apple to regain some strength. I then headed back in, battling this executioner. His flailing arms did extreme damage, but with determination and enough katana strikes, I finally defeated the Round Guardian, and then they dropped another armor piece. Just what I needed, one step closer to being unstoppable. The shrine was silent, so I stole these because I thought they'd look cool on my base. I then knew if I grabbed some obsidian, I could get out of here, but I didn't have any flint and steel, so I found some gravel, took on the enemies that battled me, and finally made it back. But when I went through the portal, I was literally in the middle of nowhere, so I had to make myself a small boat and sail my way home. It took a couple of days, but I finally made it back to land. Home sweet home, I guess. I then headed home, decorated the front of my base, and then I made an enchantment table. I guessed it was time I finally enchant my items, so I built a small structure in which I would encase the enchantment table. Now, my building skills aren't the best, so I just made the weirdest thing I could think of. I enchanted pretty much everything and managed to get protection on both armor pieces, which was insane. I also managed to get fire aspect on my katana. I really wanted more armor pieces because I would be pretty much invincible, so I headed out. I wanted to find the Ram Guardian and I got pretty lucky. In the swamp, there she was once again. But she didn't speak this time. Oh wait! <gasps> the Slushlings! This beast summoned a group of minions which did quite a bit of damage, but with my two armor pieces I found pretty safe to head in and start battling him. But then he poisoned me! I took on his minions and headed in. I blacked out. I couldn't see anything. It was just him and I. One more guardian down. One step closer to freeing this island. And one more armor piece for me. But he did leave me with poison, so I found a cow and drank some milk. But it didn't seem to go for a while. I then, on my way home, came across a village. This was the first village I'd seen on the entire island, so I tried to find some inhabitants, but I was only met with new mobs. It launched its giant pink sticky tongue at me and I was stuck inside its mouth, but I managed to take it out, but I was being absolutely swarmed, so I decided to head into a local building. Ah, safety. Wait, what is that? The final realm guardian had sent these druid assassins to take me out, and they were fierce. Using telekinesis and coming in numbers, I didn't know where to turn. Take him down. We must protect the final guardian. That was my cue to get out of here and get home. I knew there was going to be an absolute army coming for me. I tried to kill the assassin, but he was just invincible. I tried to get out the window. Oh, I managed to escape, but the druids were still following me. You think you can run? <laughs> My assassins will destroy you. I raced home. I knew I would have to prepare for an absolute war. I grabbed as many resources as possible and started working on a small area in which I could use to defend myself. Using draw bridges and wooden platforms, it would be a jungle gym-like area in which I could leap from to take on enemies. The final chapter was here. Everything I had built could end. I was terrified, but more than prepared. It was time to fight. No time to talk, boy. The last guardian, she's coming for you. Buck was alive and he told me that she's here. The last guardian. You have caused me much grief. I will defeat you right now. The last guardian was enraged and came flailing at me. It was time to fight. I was firing my arrow shots, but she burrowed herself into the ground and started firing these sludgy balls. They were destroying my base, causing me to slow down and doing extreme amounts of damage no matter how much armor I had on. I tried to hide from the creature, but its undead minions summoned from the ground and were clawing at me from beneath. She came charging at me, destroying everything in her path. 
I tried to run away, but she was just too fast and grabbed me with her tongue. You are weak. I managed to break free from her grasp and continue the fight. I dug deep, striking her, but then her minions were just too much of a threat. I had to fight, but I was surrounded left, right, and center, so I created some height. I would have much more of a chance here. Hours passed and the fight continued. I was stuck in her clutches. I could lose everything here, but with determination, I defeated the last guardian. We did it. Her minions screeched in pain. We had freed the island. A lot of my base was damaged, so I'd have to work on rebuilding it. But there it was. I survived 100 days and freed the island of all its threats. Thanks for watching. You fool. You have defeated my friends. I will have my revenge. I am Herobrine.